Welcome back, everybody. It's Empire State Warrior. I know it's been a while since I've done a video, and shout out to Legendary 602, sorry. I did not have time to get that video out. He sent me a video about good teammates, and uh, I've actually had some pretty good games lately. But I'm going to be talking about a Tier 7 Tank Destroyer that is the T25-2. And uh, what this heavy nerf means for the tank. I know it hasn't affected many Tier 7s or anything, but... Um, this tank has received substantial buffs and or nerfs, ex especially in the speed and DPM and penetration of the tank, leaving it at a 4.6 second, 225 alpha with a 185 millimeters of penetration, meaning this tank has literally the best DPM out of 90% of the tank destroyers at tier 7. What they don't tell you is how damn good this thing is. This thing will trade with anything. Not only that, you have turret armor. Meaning that if you get shell in, you're possibly going to pen it. I'm pretty sure that was a pen. I'm pretty sure that was a pen, but I don't know. We'll have to see in a minute. But as you see, just the, the sheer skill this tank is capable of doing. Like the sheer ability this thing has. And then the tiger absorbs my shell. Yeah, that penned. That shot penned. 676 damage. I'll, I'll gladly take that trade. Gladly. And see, the gun rolls really nice. Yeah, that's a 225 off gun. But you're going to roll higher more than half of the time. Because the tank just has such good DPM and alpha. Meaning you can get the shells out quicker than they can do anything about it. And look at that. I got two shells in before he even got two shells in. That's ridiculous. Because he bounced one. So he couldn't even get the third shell off. This is why this tank, in my opinion, is... Very, very underrated. The tank is quick. You have good DPM. You have insane, insane just accuracy. You you get to do quite a bit of things that a lot of tanks can't do. Unfortunate miss there. Went right in between his uh, hole in his turret on the backside deck. Unfortunately, it was a miss. And I'm going to go to a, for the Skoda here in a second. I was going to go for him, but I don't go for him. I instead go for the Skoda here. Because the Skoda is indeed a deadlier tank. And this KV-3 is going to get another shot into me. And yeah, you're going to see what happens. Then he dies. Oh, you got one shell in. Dead. you but if this thing's reloading quick enough to just rail something like that that's that's kind of stupid i realized right here that i could have easily got my gun depression down and used my turret armor instead of exposing my whole tank so it's just like okay do, 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 do. and then the tiger peaks and i'm like and my aim was screwball there max roll and then i'm about to get another high roll and i almost kill him in two shots I, I'm telling you, this tank rolls very, very nicely. And ignore the AC that's going on. I'm in my dorm right now. I have fully moved it like, into college. And yeah, first week's already done. So I'm, I'm having fun. But the Jackson doesn't shoot here. I think he was respecting the salute. I do not get out of my game. <laughs> Four kills, 3,800 and some odd damage. I can't remember the exact amount of damage. But I know it was a lot. It, it, it was a lot. And the tank just proves it. The tank just proves exactly what it's capable of. You wish to have games like this. And this tank is capable of getting out those games. Now, I have an even better game. This is my second game in the tank. Literally my second game. And <laughs> I'm going to do what's called a pro game move. I'm sorry. I had to do that meme here. Because most people don't use this move. Most people don't choose to go this direction. There's very many reasons why. Because in a tank destroyer like this, who doesn't really have much HP or much armor to speak of besides the turret here, uh, it's kind of an iffy scenario to go to this place that I'm going. Uh, there's two things about the place that I'm going. Uh, every TD camps there. And all the top tier heavies. By top tier, I mean tier 10 and 9. 9 and 10, tier 10. Oh my god. The tier 9 and 10... 
heavy tanks usually go there. And some tank destroyers. Mainly the grill and the FB 215B183. But, uh, you're going to see that I'm just going to sit back here and I'm going to farm. I am going to literally get out a pitchfork and a straw hat and start freaking piling up the damage. It is hilarious how much damage I do in such a short amount of time. I don't know if this shot hits. I cannot remember. I mean, I'm pretty sure it hit. So we're just going to have to see after the damage counter. We're just going to have to see. And as you see, I'm, I'm trying to get spots here. And I do get some spots here. So, let's see. Yeah, I panned the SU. That's two single shot blind shots in a row that I've done in two games in a row. I don't get that shot off though, but I almost did. I do not pen this VK once. Where did that shell go? How does that shell bounce? Where does that one go? Did I blind shot something else in there? Let's see, is it 1100? Nah, I didn't blind shot anything else. He's firing HE. Tells you how desperate he is. He's like, stop it! Leave me alone! I'm like, you cannot escape. You cannot escape my ferocious DPM. And the SU's still spotted, so he's gonna die. ARL's AFK, if you're wondering. The ARL is 100% AFK. Let me just look at that. Props to the VK. That was a lucky shot on his part. And I'm finally going to start penning this guy. Finally got to start making him pay for some of the shots he's gotten in on me. And boom. He, he's running. So now it's back to the ARL. Tiger131 is going to take out the VK. Not knowing that Tiger131 was it. Actually, he did know. I don't know why he ran down there. Uh, oh, hello, Type. Bye bye. And I'm already at 3,200 damage, 3,300 damage, pretty much. And look, another high roll. The characteristics of the tanks, like this, are this: high DPM, decent alpha, with insane accuracy and dispersion ratings. This is the type of tank you want playing in games like this. You will get... Oh, that's a low roll. Holy shit. 169. I didn't even realize that last that, that game. Holy crap. That low roll. That's unfortunate. But this just proves the accuracy of the tank. I mean, watch this. A lot of people would have missed that shot. They would have tried to aim a little bit longer. Probably would have tried to hit that shot. And uh, yeah, ignore that. That's a lag spike. Uh, the Wi-Fi here is good, but it's not the best. I, I lag quite a bit on this Wi-Fi. But, uh, and then my T29 and my Tiger 131 apparently can't pen a shot, so I just... Five kills, 4,200 damage. That, that's just, that's, that's a... Okay. <laughs> Sniper Tunk. And Radley's. So that's two of the rarest medals in one game, plus an Ace Tanker. Proving that this tank is extremely underrated. Uh, yeah, the enemy team wasn't very good either. Like, I think the only two that even knew partially what they were doing was the type and definitely the Gravedigger. Gravedigger knew what he was doing. He, he knew. He knew what he was doing 100% of the time. Uh, I've had three games in this tank. First game, I did one shell of damage. Next two games, you just saw him. Those were my two next games in a row. The canal was the second. The third one was at, uh, what is that map called? New Bay. But I'm going to do a short, detailed description of the tank. The tank doesn't have much armor. 76 on the turret, 76 on the hull. But the turret actually does have more than that because the mantlet has about 35, 40 millimeters of extra armor there. So you're actually got about 105 millimeters of turret armor plus that mantlet 
Like that mantle actually ha it combines for like a 105 millimeter shift heart armor, which is very nice. The hole, don't expect to get bounces on your hole. You have only have 76 millimeters. You can get some bounces here and there from like an easy eight, stuff like that, but you won't get many bounces after that. Uh, you're quick, top speed at 56 kilometers an hour. You have a very good powder weight at 18.6, plus you have an average speed of 33. Your reverse speed is okay at 15 kilometers an hour, not bad. Uh, your engine horsepower is at 823, and you don't weigh very much, despite what this says, at only 44 tons, which is a lot more than expected for a tank like this, but it's, it still doesn't weigh that much. Your aim time is okay at 3.2 seconds, and your hold turn ratio for such a tank like this is actually 47.9. That's very nice. Your gun, as I said, is freaking insane. Your aim time, like I said, is it's pretty good, 3.2. Your dispersion, though, is insane at 0.29. I mean, you're going to hit 90% of your shots. Your damage permanent is at 2,900, which is insane. Reload, 4.6. Your penetration, 190. They buffed that again. Yeah, it used to be at 185. They secretly buffed that. Wow, secret buff. Holy crap. Well, I pointed that out. Holy shit. All right. Uh, armor piercing is at 258, meaning... If you can't pair with your APCR, just, I mean, your AP, just switch to APCR. You're, you're going through everything, tier 7 and 8. I mean, even the tier 6s struggle to bounce a 190 shell. They, they won't, they won't bounce a 258mm shell. They won't. Uh, or 58, 258mm pen shell. There we go. Uh, your gun turn degree limit is 25 upwards, which means you have very good gun elevation. But you also have good gun depression at 10 degrees. Plus, your damage per shot on the HE shell, instead of being 2, like, 50, like all the other 225 alpha guns, it actually sits at 270, meaning you can dish out more damage with the HE shell. And I wouldn't worry about the stock gun syndrome, because you do have decent DPM, decent reload time, 5.7 seconds, plus your aim time and dispersion are pretty much the same. Your penetration is only down 15 on both shells, and your uh, elevation's just just slower than five but the alpha and everything else is the same the dpm is pretty good too i honestly wouldn't be worried about the stock gun syndrome the stock gun syndrome on this tank isn't actually that bad uh, my opinions on the tank as a whole don't expose your hole at all your hole is literally paper people will pen right through you unless you're in a top tier scenario where you're going up against like three easy eights then then you have a chance of bouncing shells in your hole your turret will get more bounces than you expect so expect some bounces here and there off your turret. Uh, don't don't rely on your turret because things like SU-100Ys, SU-100s, SU-152s with heat, or just a KV-2 with HE, they, they will pen very easily in your turret if they aim correctly. I am being serious. If you turn your turret even a little bit, this side of the turret is just... It's so weak. And they will just pen it all day. So please be aware of that. Uh... I know a lot of you like the setups and stuff for like equipment stuff. I'm not going to tell you how to do your stuff. I mean, I'll show you my stuff, but I'm not going to tell you how to do it. This is my pretty much normal setup. Adrenaline, multi-purpose, and then a normal repair kit. You want the improvisions. You want you want the good improvisions. You want the cola. Good old-fashioned cola. Can't go wrong with it. Improved fuel. You want to get that speed up. You want to get that turret turn traverse up. You want to get everything up on this. Uh, and then a little bit more DPM. J just a slight bit. Just a slight bit. And dispersion goes down a little bit. Everything goes down a little bit. Which helps it quite a bit. Um, honestly, you could go with this if you wanted even more speed. But I honestly would just take the DPM as it is. Sitting at 2900 DPM. That, that That's a good place to be sitting. Uh, the equipment, I'm just going to show it to you. you. This isn't like how you have to have it. This is just my preferred this is a definite, 100%, my opinion, my preferred, perfect T25 slash two. Uh, definite gun rammer, enhanced gun laying drive, and refined gun, maxing out the capabilities of the gun to a T. You want it max. Defense system, 100%, improved assembly. You have no armor to speak of, like I said, so you definitely want the extra HP. Enhanced traps because you're a TD. As soon as your trap gets destroyed, you want to be able to fix it quicker so you can get the fuck out of there. Um, camouflage net, you're a TD. You want the camouflage, and this thing has very good camouflage ratings. Uh, 
sitting without the camouflage while stationary without a normal camouflage sitting on it it has 44 while stationary without firing that is very very nice uh engine accelerator like i said you want to get this up as much as you can you want to get it up as high as you can as quick as you can it, it's definitely worth it and consumer delivery system i'm gonna go with that every time this one in my opinion isn't even worth it on some tanks unless it's like say mm, t110e5 now so you can have the extra speed boost and that's just about it anywho hope you all enjoyed the video like subscribe leave a comment down below if you want to request a certain tank if i have it in said garage i will try it out and see what it's like and then try to get an ace in it as soon as i can i am just that type of player i'm gonna try to get an ace as soon as i can anywho hope you all enjoyed the video also there's gonna be two tier eight premiums that i'm gonna be doing videos on the skoda t27 and the stg where is it very very soon i'm gonna try to get these videos out within the next two to three days i'm gonna try to get these out if college isn't persistent on trying to get me crap done so i hope you'll enjoy the time that i don't even know what i'm saying now <laughs> i hope you'll enjoy the video that's all i'm gonna say um if you like the video like it if you dislike it hit the dislike button i don't really care i've said this many times hit the subscribe button if you like my content it's free you can always change your mind later on down the road if you just want to unsubscribe that's fine with me uh, like i said leave a comment if you have a tank request and any questions and i hope you have a nice day